There is a lot of confusion when it comes to perform insulation resistance test of solar module string connected in series. Like what is the difference between a normal AC cable insulation resistance test or solar DC string insulation resistance test. Solar experts tell me that don't connect IR tester in the daytime to photovoltaic string as the reverse voltage will damage the insulation resistance tester or you will get false and incorrect value. Solar experts also told me the voltage generated by the insulation resistance tester will damage the bypass diode of solar panels. Also testing the insulation resistance value of a solar string with respect to earth with a normal insulation resistance tester will require us to short the string which is very dangerous and will cause DC arc or flashover. So which is the latest device and accepted method to perform IR test of solar DC string? Hi guys, this is Himanshu, one of the industry's best solar operation and maintenance engineer sharing my golden experience on this YouTube channel. Trust me, this golden experience will definitely help you. There is an amazing device which can do this without any hazard of arc, bypass diode failure or reverse voltage disturbance in the insulation resistance value obtained during the testing. Now how to use this new device for DC string IR testing. Unlike a normal IR tester, this device has a special PV resistance parameter to bypass the fluctuation caused by the solar string as even open strings have floating voltages with respect to the earth which may generate incorrect reading if you are using a normal IR tester. First, select an array which you want to test and open the string which you want to test. Connect the positive MC4 of the PV string terminal with the red electrode of the device and connect the black electrode of the device to the system body earthing. Set the testing voltage at which you want to test the PV string. Turn the knob to the PV resistance which is specially given in this device and hit the test button. The value is being measured in 4 seconds and you will get the resistance value between the PV cables and the system earthing. Similarly, we will do it for the IR values between the negative and the earth only if the previous IR value between the positive and the earth is ok or passed by the device. So accordingly, we will test all the strings in the same manner and we get our readings that is the IR values between the positive to earth and the negative to earth for multiple strings. Just in case, if any cable is tampered, cut or damaged, it will be caught in the test showing lower values and not passing in the test. The name of the amazing device is Hiok IR4053. Using this device, we easily get the IR values of PV strings without short circuiting them. The complete details of the device is in the video description. So if you want to see some more practical and troubleshooting based videos for PV technology, then subscribe the channel Sustainable Every Day.